G'day YouTube, K okay, here, and uh, today I'm just going to redo a video that I did before on how to change your sprite in Navy Field. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is go to navyfieldgraphics.tk. Now I'll put a link in the description below so that you guys can get to it easier. Now once you're there, you're wanting to go to official releases, because this is where all the sprites are, and then in here you'll find all the lists of all the sprites. Now how to get into all these, you just got to find what nation sprite you want, so I want a KM one, I mean a uh, UK one, so I'll go to the Royal Nation one. Now, I want a battleship sprite, so I'll go to BB, and then I'll scroll down here, and I'll go with the L1 one, just because it's easier. Now, what you're looking for is the sprites with HBS, because they're the ones that come with like the full package, you could say, of harbour, battle room, and battle sprites, so that you see them the entire time. Some sprites only look in the harbour because they're complicated and haven't been done for the battle yet. Because it is really hard to edit sprites for battle, battle room and all that. Trust me, I've, I've tried and failed. Now, it'll come up with a picture of what it's going to look like and if you like it, then you can download it. And after you download it, then... Now, what you're going to want to do is open that one and you see you see there you've got your L1 battle sprite L1 harbour GF, the read me, the two ship structures and the backups now what you really need is just the backup and the ship structures but you can put it all in the folder anyway just because it makes it easier now the battle sprite is what it'll look like in battle the harbour sprite is what it'll look like in the harbour the read me is just a bit of information for you the two you really want are the SPR folders. Now, those two basically are what changes the look of it. The backups are just normal backups, but those two are the ones you want. Now, how to put them in so it changes the game. Now, first off, you're not going to want to have Navy Field open. If you do, it'll crash. Then, you go into My Computer, Local Disk, which is the C drive, and then in here, you go to Program Files, and there will be a folder called SD Internet. Now, in here, you should see two, Navy Field and EN Funds Updater, okay? Now, you go into the Navy Field folder, then in here, you should, you should see Components, Hack Shield, Map, Mission, Screenshot, Sound, and SPR folders, and then a whole heap of data and text files. Now, the one you are wanting to actually go into is the SPR folder. Now, this is where all of the games like battle images for the ships and everything are. Now, the SPR folder is where you put those two, sh the ship structure F101 and the ship structure N099. Now, these two are sprite folders, so they go in the SPR folder, which is short for sprite. Now, if you've got backups already, which are these two, you don't have to worry about making them. But if you don't, I recommend finding the file in here, just match up the numbers because it's pretty easy and um, make a backup of them just in case you want to get rid of the sprite because you put the backup in it's back to the normal one but to put them in all you do is just get both of them copy and then all you do is just paste and then once they're in here it's edited it's changed it and you can start up Navefield and take a look at your sprite so that's what we'll do now cut a bit out of that there just because it was taking a really long time for it to load up so um, I hope you didn't mind, but we'll see the sprite and how it went anyway. So basically, once you've done the sprite, it should look like that. Now, as you can tell, that's not the original line one. And that line is now edited with a sprite. Now you can go to, like, your next ship, which is my pit, which is the, uh, APA, or my Texas, my Queen, the Queen Vic, the Dunkirk, the Dreadnought, the Resolution, you know, line two, like, no sprite difference, but... The only one that you do see is on the line one, which means it's good. If you haven't done it right, you might get a couple of other ships that look a bit weird and all that, but, you know, it's, it's not that hard. So, anyway, yeah, that's how you uh, edit a sprite in Navy Field. If you have any problems with that, just feel free to send me a private message. I'm always willing to help you guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please rate and subscribe.